GNOME 41 stable release is ultimately here. While GNOME 40 was a radical change forcing many users to adapt to a new workflow, GNOME 41 seems to settle the dust. With GNOME 41, there are no significant workflow changes but new feature additions and improvements across the board. GNOME 41 beta has been out there for a while and we tried the stable release right before the release date using GNOME OS to highlight what you can expect with it. GNOME 41 does not give you any new visual treats but useful improvements to help you improve the workflow or take control of it. There are some GNOME app upgrades that come along with it. Let me mention the key highlights of GNOME 41. GNOME 41 Software Improvements Every release, users look forward to the improvements made to the GNOME Software Center. While they have been improving it in the right direction, it needed a visual overhaul. And this time, GNOME 41 comes with a much needed UI refresh. The software store is more descriptive and should look appealing to new users. Using emojis, creative icons to categorize applications makes the software center pop. Like the apps for GNOME Portal, the application screens on the software center include more details to inform the user as much as possible without needing to refer to the project page or the web. In other words, these are the context styles added to an app page that provides information about device support, safety, permissions, age rating, download size, the project and more. You also get to choose the available add-ons for a particular app like GIMP to install in one go. So you save time from finding add-ons and installing them individually. GNOME 41 software should prove to be much more helpful than it ever was. New multitasking options. To help you improve the workflow, GNOME 41 comes baked in with new multitasking tweaks. You get the toggle to hot corner to quickly open the activities overview. The ability to resize windows upon dragging them to the edges has also been added. If you want, you can set a fixed number of workspaces available or keep it dynamic to adapt as you require. In addition to these, you also get features to tweak like multi-monitor workspaces, application switching behavior. So when you have multiple displays, you can choose to keep the workspaces restricted to a single screen or continue over connected displays. And when you head to switch applications and navigate through them, you can customize to preview the applications only in the same workspace or from other workspaces. Next, power saving settings. A helpful performance tweak to save power is now available in GNOME 41. This is incredibly useful for laptop users to tune their performance manually or if an app requests switching the mode to save power. GNOME Web or Epiphany browser has been receiving a lot of good improvements lately. And with GNOME 41, the Epiphany browser now utilizes AdGuard script to block YouTube advertisements. Not to forget, the support for Epiphany Canary builds has also been added. Also, a new connections app has been added to let you connect to remote computers no matter the platform. I still see the application as an alpha build, but maybe with following new updates, you should get the finished version of the applications. I haven't tried it, but if you try it out, let me know in the comments down below. Under the hood, several subtle but essential changes resulted in a better and faster user experience in GNOME 41. For instance, you may notice the icons more prominent in the header areas of applications. This is to improve clarity and enhance the look. Similarly, there are numerous improvements to GNOME apps and functionalities that you might bump into when you use them. Some of them are, GNOME map now shows the mean sea levels in a user-friendly way. Improvements to Nautilus File Manager to support password-protected zip files and the ability to toggle to let you enable or disable automatic trash cleaning. Music app getting a UI refresh. GNOME Text Editor gaining more features. GTK updated to 4.4.0. You can refer to the official change log and the announcement for all the technical details. But overall, 
GNOME 41 is not an experience breaking upgrade but it is a significant update with many valuable additions. What do you think about GNOME 41? Have you tried it yet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.